I just took a delicious car nap. <laughs> I got this pillow that's an infinity scarf. And look at this. You go like this. You go like this, and then boom, you can sleep anywhere. Linking it down below, I just took a fabulous nap. It is 7.32 a.m. in the morning. Cal is driving me to Hello. where, babe? The airport. <laughs> to the airport, because we are going to Miami for a bachelorette trip. I can't see anything right now, actually. I gotta move my Oh, I thought they already knew on. where I was driving you. That's why I was confused. I was like, oh. where, what? Well, I just started <laughs> the vlog. If they watched the last vlog, they know. If they oh, didn't, okay. then you don't know. That I'm going to Miami for a bachelorette trip, and I am still waking up. So I'm about to hop out the car and we're gonna begin the trip. I'm so excited. I've never been on a bachelorette trip before. I have been to Miami, but I've never been for anything besides a work trip. So I'm a little scared. Nah, it'll be fun. It's gonna be chaos, but I can't wait. And I'm meeting up with everybody. Like half the group is going on this flight and then everybody else is kind of flying in from all over. So yeah, I will update you guys at some point, probably when I get there, cause I'm gonna sleep on the plane. Bye! Bye, baby, I love you! Bye! <laughs> <laughs> Hello guys, I'm Orange. I made it to Miami. I took a little nap on the flight and then I watched four episodes of Suits and it was fabulous. I just got to the hotel and got my key and I'm going to my room. Hello ladies! Hello! Hi! <laughs> <laughs> I can't you should not. Hello guys, we just went to dinner. Night one. The crew is here. Everybody else went out to go dancing and we are going to the merch store. Yes. <laughs> we're turning in early for the night, but our hotel is right there. And as we were walking over, we found Surf Style and we wanted to check out, you know, all the fun merch. Put your hands up. There we go. <laughs> this is so beautiful. Oh, I love it. It's cute. Oh, 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 the shorts are so cute, but I love it. I would so wear that. <laughs> I actually really do like these. They're so cute. I love a fold over moment. They have meat sticks here. Buffalo Bob, we got alligator. <gasps> Whoa, Florida's crazy. The store is mass. Oh my God, I love this wine glass situation. Okay, Remy, this is, if we have like PB Merc, yeah. this needs to be it. I love like, it. The light blue and the pink, it's perfect. Found the Alicia Marie shirt. Yeah. This is what we're getting. <laughs> the pink dolphin. <laughs> you can walk it. Look at it. I would have ate this up as a kid. I would have begged my mom. I sent Cal a photo of this as a joke, and then he was like, Wait, actually, can I get that? And can I Venmo you? And I said, Sure. So he's getting that one, and I'm getting this one. Cute. <laughs> Regretting last night's decision. <laughs> Hello guys, haven't really vlogged yet. Actually, I vlogged a, br a drag brunch a little bit. I was gonna say, the last clip they saw was probably me catching a wig. You catching the wig, <laughs> which was iconic. And now we came back to the room, we took a nap, we were gonna go to the beach, but we all fell asleep instead. And now we're ready for night one. Would you mind getting a little clip of me in my dress? Thank you. Here's the dress that I got shortened. It's a little short, but it is uh, Miami. No, it's I think perfect. Is, thank you. I'm also a big fan of this new Patrick Ta goo that I got. It's called the She's glowy. No, she's glossy all over glow bomb. And I put it on with that body brush and we're all glowing now and it's amazing. So that's what I'm wearing all over my body. Hair is gonna get really frizzy with the humidity anyway, so. Oh. oh, maybe I will pack a clip, good Here. idea. Okay, thank you. Will you do an outfit of the day for mine? Oh my God, yes! Also don't mind a really messy room, uh, girl things. Girl dinner. <laughs> girl dinner, oh cute. Top is from something swim, one second. It's a swim? Jayco, Jayco swim is the brand. Oh! So it must just be like, I don't know, but it's cute. It's, it's back so Cute, I love that. Um, my skirt, I believe, is Mistress Rock. Cute. And her Dolce Vita shoes. My Dolce Vita shoes. And our Joe and the Juice bag. Tonight's theme, we're all supposed to wear champagne. Yes. And I'm pretty sure bride to be is wearing black. Love it. Let's go on the bride. Yeah.
Good morning. As you can see, we are no longer in Miami. I am home. I did a horrible job vlogging. I think I got maybe like three clips. I apologize, but I had so much fun. I ended up coming home yesterday morning. It's Monday now. I came back early, early Sunday morning and I got back here around noon and then I basically just relaxed the rest of yesterday and cleaned up the house a little bit and got ready because today I had a very big work day and I wanted to make sure that I was rested and ready for that. So yes, it's Monday morning and we're just gonna keep the good vibes going. We're gonna keep the vlog going. We got Daisy May back here. Say hello, my beautiful princess, my beautiful girl. Hello. But yes, good morning. Today, I'm just, sorry, Luna's chewing on her bone. Let me put Daisy down. Hi, Lou. So yes, today we have lots of work stuff to get done. I've already started filming a bunch of things that I needed to do. Also, while I was gone, I've been waiting for this moment because I thought we could experience it together. While I was gone, the office was repainted, the new office slash guest room. If you guys missed it, I converted the old full guest room to a half guest room, half office for me. And I am really excited. Excited. It got repainted and I haven't seen it yet. I was waiting to look together. So let's go get our first impression together. Dun, 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 dun. Oh! oh my goodness. I love it. Okay, let me spin you around. Okay, little pan around. It looks so beautiful. It's that same nude lime wash that we used in the office. The texture looks really nice in here. This is the white pullout couch. I have this really beautiful olive tree. The walls are all nice and bare. I'm going to clean all this up soon too, but this looks amazing. I wasn't sure if I wanted to paint the doors white or keep them black, but I wanted to see the black before I made a big decision to make them white. And I think I actually like the black. It also is like a big project. They said to like take the doors down, sand it all down, repaint it, put it all back up. So I wanted to see the black before I see the white and I think I actually really like the black doors. I feel like it looks nice with the nude. Nice contrast. All the pups love the rug still. But yes, many more updates to come. I have some art going up on this wall. I need to figure out what to put on this wall. I have those mirrors that I had before. I might do those, but I might do something different. I might put the art that I was going to put there on this wall. I'm not sure. We're going to see where the designs take us, but otherwise I love this. Oh, also the bathroom got painted too. Here is the bathroom. Okay, it's kind of hard to tell because bathroom lighting is always so bad, but before there was that pink marble wallpaper on here and I decided to just paint the bathroom the same color as the room with this really pretty nude beige lime wash. It's not picking up on camera very well, but I thought this was nice and neutral. I'll put some art on this wall, make it all really nice and clean and simple. I loved all the wallpaper that I had in this room and out there before, but I also felt like I was just ready for a change. So this feels really nice and fresh and clean and I'm so happy. Not only am I happy, I'm also very hungry. So let's go make some brunch because I need to eat something. I'm starving. Hello, Missy. Get your bone. Let's go. Go get your bone. Get your bone. Go get your bone, Miss Underbite. Go get it. We're gonna leave. Here you go. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm so excited to be back home in my kitchen. I have so many things that I want to cook and so many things that I want to eat and drink. First off, I got swept into this TikTok ad for this company called Bird and Blend Tico. I'm pretty sure, I think they were in the UK, but I might be making that up. But basically, if you guys didn't know, I mean, I love coffee. I love, love, love coffee. Speaking of which, I want a cup right now. But even more than coffee, I am a tried and true iced tea or just tea girl. I love all sorts of teas. So I got swept into this on TikTok because I can just drink like four of these a day of just iced tea all day long. And basically this is a cold brew tea bottle. It's got this filter in the top. This is not sponsored. Again, I simply found this on TikTok and I'm pretty sure what the girl did is you spoon the tea into here. You get loose leaf and then you fill this with cold water and then you let it steep for like four hours, it says. Four plus hours and then you have cold brew iced tea, which I think is great. Most of the time when I make my tea at home, I have to brew it, let it cool to room temp, and then put it over ice, which takes time. But this makes copious amounts. And I'm so excited. The two teas that I wanted to try from this company are, I got strawberry lemonade and I got blue raspberry. I just like really fruity, flavorful teas. So I thought we could try this together. Let me wash this bottle. I have to take this sticker off. Let me wash all of the things and then let's try and make some tea. Okay, I'm beginning with, I'm gonna try the strawberry lemonade first. I feel like that one's very safe. Blue raspberry sounds good. Good, but strawberry lemonade is definitely, oh, more up my alley. Okay, in here there is apple pieces, hibiscus, elderberries, blackberry leaves, rose hip, lemon slices, orange peel, sunflower petals, strawberry pieces, lime pieces, and flavoring. Okay, so this thing says four to six teaspoons. So I'm just gonna take this. I like my tea stronger, so I'm gonna do six. And then I think I pop this back up into here. Okay, all up in there. And then I think I just put this on top. 
Wait, oh, I think I need to put more water up to the top. <laughs> One second, let me fill the water up from the top. Okay, I think it's working. Now I just let this steep for at least four hours. I'm gonna put it in the fridge and we'll check on it later tonight. I wish I had done this last night, so I had some right now, but that's okay. Now I know, I mean, I can do this every night because I will go through this today. <gasps> yes, you can see the colors going through. <gasps> I have some shrimp that's frozen here that I'm thawing out in some water. And very soon I'm gonna peel these, I'm going to boil them, and then I'm gonna make shrimp mayo onigiris. So excited, when I go to Japan, my favorite little onigiris to get at the store are the shrimp mayo ones. They're a little bit hard to come by. I can only find them at some little convenience stores. I only had one when I went to Japan for two weeks in May. The more common ones, I feel like there are a lot of natto, there are a lot of like tuna mayos, things like that. But the shrimp mayo is my favorite, and I realized I can just make it at home. So I have my shrimps here. They're thawing a little bit and I'm gonna peel them and we're gonna boil them and then chop it up and then make onigiri, which I'm so excited about. So let me get the water boiling behind me. Okay, shrimp are cooking in the water behind me. I've got my instant rice. I, every time I say this, I'm like, I wish I had cooked my rice in the rice maker, but I never plan ahead. So I'm using my instant rice. And to make this sushi rice, I'm gonna add in some rice vinegar. Little splash of that. We're gonna do some salt. As well as just some white sugar. Little bit of that. And then mix this all around till it's nice and incorporated. Okay, our rice is ready. Also, I just wanna say, I'm making this up as I go. This is not traditional whatsoever. So please take what I say with a grain of salt, but I know it's gonna taste good because rice, shrimp, and seaweed always taste good. So we've got our rice here. Now for the little onigiris, I'm using these little seaweed hacks that I got on Amazon. I'll link them down below for you guys. I did not know you could buy these. I think these make a great little snack for if your kid is going back to school, if you're going back to school, if you're going to work, if you're on the go. I'm always forgetting to pack a lunch when I go to the studio. So I think these would be great to make in advance and then I can just take them with me on the go. So they're like these little perfect plastic wrapped seaweed. And so if you guys have never had one of these, they basically are made so that you can unwrap it right before you eat it so that the seaweed stays crisp because that's like one of the best parts of an onigiri. So they come like this and I don't know how to wrap it. So we're gonna learn together, but let's see. Oh, you know what? I also bought this on Amazon and I already know it's definitely what I think it is. Now you don't need one of these. I'll link it down below as well. This was like $5 and I'm gonna use these now for all of my little onigiris, but it's a little mold. So if you, you know, wanna make your life a little easier, these are great. And what I liked about it is it came in two sizes. Like if you want a little bit less rice, you want a smaller one or a bigger one and it has a little rice paddle. So I thought these would be really cute. Let me wash these, wash my hands and then we'll start prepping the shrimp. All right, we got our shrimps. I am making sure they're nice and dry. Also guys, as I was coming downstairs and I was about to make these, I asked Cal, hey, do you want some lunch? And he said, no, honestly, I'm okay, thank you though. And he said, well, actually, what are you making? And I said, I'm gonna make shrimp mayo on a kitties. And he went, oh, yes, please. So they are a household favorite. These are hot and I want it to be cool. So I'm gonna throw these actually into an ice bath and then dry them again. One second. Okay, shrimp in the ice bath. Let um get nice and cold. And then I'm gonna chop them up really nice and small and then mix it up with some mayo. And I think I'm also gonna add some futakake to that. So you can make these tuna mayo, you can do avocado, pretty much anything. And now I'm gonna chop them super nice and fine. Okay, shrimp is chopped nice and finely. I'm gonna do a mixture of Japanese mayo and a little bit of light mayo. You know what? I could also make these like spicy mayo if I wanted to. Two parts of that to one part of QP. Oh, QP is so good. And then we're also gonna put our futakake in and then give this a nice mix. I feel like it doesn't actually need that much mayo because it all sticks together, but let's try. And then also, you know what's nice about this is you can control how much filling to rice that you have. Sometimes I feel like the ones from the store obviously are just like a lot of rice, so it's nice to be able to control that. Actually, I think that was like the perfect amount of mayo. It's all sticking together nicely. I could split this and do half spicy, half not, but I might just like drizzle some on top. We're looking good. Let's try pressing this. Let me get my, I'll do it on the cutting board. Got our cutting board, we've got our little mold. Let's try a big one first. So I think what we do is we put a little rice in, a little rice. We'll do some filling. Oh, I might've already put too much rice. My bad. Okay, filling and then a little more rice on top. We're learning as we go. If anybody has any tips, please feel free to share. All right, rice on top. And then we take our little presser down guy and smush it. I definitely did that wrong. Now it's sticking to the top. I know if it's wet, the rice won't stick. So maybe I need to get them wet. 
Let me try and press this out. Ah! It doesn't want to come out. There we go. Okay, we'll just press this together with our hands. Not the best, but it'll work. Hi, good morning. Good morning. I'm good, how are you? Did you have fun? I had so much fun, it was so fun. It was amazing. I'm trying to figure out how to wrap this up. I don't know how to do it, guys. I'll be back. Fabulous news. With the use of YouTube, I learned how to wrap it, but now I wanna eat it. So I'm going to just eat it as if I did wrap it. Here's our taste test. That's so good. I definitely put way too much on here, but it's delicious. Well, I'm gonna make a bunch of these and then I'll just have them for the rest of the week if they last that long. Guys, I just had my first sip of witch's brew of the season. I think that fall starts September 1st. I know it doesn't actually, but like I go with the months in my head. So I'm a little premature on having this, but I don't care. If you guys have not tried witch's brew, this is Alani News caramel apple flavor. Come here. Okay. Did you wrap it yourself? Mm -hmm. No. Yeah, I did. I just did that right now. Oh. Hello guys. Okay, it is later. I've had such a good work day. Very productive. I got a lot of stuff done. I still have some more to do, but it is tea time. It's now been steeping for a little bit over four hours, like four hours and some change. I got my glass. Also, I am hungry for a little snack, so I'm gonna have another onigiri. Yes, I still have a good amount of work to get done today, but we finished a lot already. Feeling good. All right, so I think if we take this little cap off, I wonder. Okay, so I think I'm supposed to take the filter out now. That only makes sense. Oh my God. I'm such a dummy. I guess it didn't make sense. I'm back. Got the filter out. Now we pour. <gasps> Beautiful. Oh, it smells so good. I mean, that's a pretty good size glass of tea and we still have like two thirds of the bottle left. Here goes nothing. If you're like me and you love iced tea, that is so good and so easy. Wow, okay, that's fantastic. Now for my little snack, we open this guy up. Oh my God, now I see why Cal almost dropped his earlier. Fantastic little snack. Seaweed stuck to my teeth, delicious. I got some filming that I gotta do and editing and I'll keep you guys updated. Bye. Hi guys, okay, I just filmed a little bit more, started to clean up this room, and I found these Matilda Jerf pants that I never tried on for you guys. I love them, they're so cute and comfy. I was a little nervous that I was going to have to shorten them, but I think they're kind of like perfect. If I wear like a little sneaker with a platform, I think it'll be okay. I think I could get them hemmed maybe like an inch or two, but I feel like that would just be expensive just for something that I don't really necessarily have to. But they're so cute. I feel like they are the perfect like beach wear pants, or if you want to go like a little bit more casual, I do think you could dress them up a bit too. I might wear them on Pretty Basic tomorrow because I feel like they're so comfy and billowy and I can sit there and be comfortable while recording. So yeah, I just wanted to share them with you guys. I'll link them down below. I bought these as well as the robes, which I have been loving so much. They're so good. And yeah, hitting my midday slump, but I have a little bit more to film and then we got to get to editing. So I got to pep up. See you guys very soon. Hi guys, okay, I took off my makeup as quickly as I could as soon as I wasn't filming anything anymore. And I had this giant pimple pop up today and I've had quite a few breakouts around my cheeks lately. And I have been using this. This is the Inky List Sassinic Acid Acne Treatment. I swear, every time I film, this begins. It's playtime. This stuff is amazing. I'm pretty sure I got this at Sephora, I wanna say, and I know the Inky, okay. I'm pretty sure I got this at Sephora and I'm pretty sure the Inky List is on the less expensive side for skincare and it is amazing. I swear, if you put a little bit of this, they wanna play so badly. If you put a little bit of this on an active pimple, it will go away overnight. I, I know you wanna play so badly. Also, that big frame back there arrived today and that is the artwork that's gonna go up on that wall. Now I'm really unsure what to put on this wall because I was gonna do those mirrors that I had before but I'm really thinking it doesn't match the vibe anymore. So I need to figure out what to do over there. Please let me know if you have any ideas. I'm importing a new vlog that I'm gonna start editing and then let me show you guys the artwork that came. It's so pretty. Daisy wants to play so badly. Okay, it's really glary right now, but hi, here I am in my pajamas. This is the photo that's gonna go up on this wall. I think it's so pretty. I wanted to keep the neutral tones, but I wanted again to just make this more elevated and a more mature space. It's this beautiful photo from a photographer in Croatia. So I thought it was stunning. I love the water. I like that the water is like a very deep, deep, deep teal blue. Instead of a light baby blue that I would normally go for, I feel like it's just a little bit more muted and really pretty and the, the nude tones match all the nude tones in here. So that's gonna go up there. And then now I can't decide what's going on this wall. Part of me kind of wants to keep it clean. I actually really like it this way, but let me know. 
please, what I should do with it. I actually, I'm really thinking maybe just plain now. Opinions are welcomed. Thank you. Hello guys. Okay, I just wrapped the work day and now we're gonna have some dinner and I saw TikTok. This whole vlog is just me talking about things that I saw on TikTok. Oh, also, this is just like, what? Like a third of the passion fruits that fell off the vine today? It's Insane. Bad. Maybe like a quarter. We, what should we do with all of it? I think we should cut them and like put them in a jar maybe? Yeah. I will say that the longer we wait and the more wrinkly they get, the sweeter they'll be. So we can wait a bit. I saw this Korean girl that I follow who does a bunch of recipes posted that on Amazon, you can buy this giant pack of ramen seasoning, which I love an instant Korean ramen more than the next girl. And I like the noodles, but the thing that I love the most is the broth. I could just sip that in a cup all day long. And so now I can make it whenever I want without having to like open up a pack of noodles. So I'm very excited. So I think I'm gonna try and use some of this tonight to make some eggs and maybe I'll throw some rice cakes in and I don't know, just make like a soup for dinner. What are you having for dinner, my love? Your leftovers. Gorgeous, love it. <laughs> my water's boiling and I'm gonna put in my soup base. I'm just gonna eyeball. And then inside of this, I'm gonna do some of these rice cakes from Trader Joe's. This is also called duck. We've got two eggs, more protein with two eggs. And then I have some zucchini. Say it, Cal. I love zucchini. I love zucchini and onions that I'm also gonna throw in. Kind of making it like a jumpong, like a Korean seafood stew. Maybe I'll put some seafood in too. We'll see what we got. I'm just throwing everything in. All right, Cal ate the, the Korean short ribs that were from Trader Joe's and there was a little bit left over. So I chopped it up and now I'm gonna throw this into my soup for extra flavor. Just tried the soup. Shit, it's fresh. It's so good. I'm letting it simmer now and I cracked my eggs in. I want my onions to get translucent, my zucchini to get really nice and soft. It smells so good. All right, dinner is served. I've got my soup and my bowl. Don't mind the chip in the bowl. Still works just fine. And I've got my Korean silverware. If you know, you know. Tastes better with this stuff. Ooh, I wish I had some kimchi or something, but I don't. But that's okay, got my rice cakes. Let's try a Trader Joe's rice cake, shall we? Tastes like rice cake. That's delicious. Oh my God, this is so good. I wish it weren't 90 degrees out, but this is gonna be my go-to during the fall. If I did the egg right, it should be like a soft medium boil. <gasps> I did it perfectly. Oh, look at that. Oh, yes. That's amazing. Mm hmm. I nailed it. Hi, guys. Good morning. Welcome. Nope, not welcome. I'm ending the vlog. <laughs> Hello guys, good morning. I am coming on to end the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. We had a little mix of Miami crazy party and we had um, me making a bunch of food at home. <laughs> Just some good juxtaposition, but I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Thank you so, so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.